Do you have thoughts running around in your mind that you're just wondering if the American dream is even alive and well today, that it actually is a dream that's reality and real, that home ownership and that white picket fence is actually doable for your kids or your grandkids? Well, I'm here to give you some hope today and some encouragement that um, although things have changed and are not like the way they were, house prices have gone up, rates have gone up. I do firmly believe that where there's a will, there's a way. And I'm hoping today is going to give you some encouragement because I know as a mom myself that you want to leave a legacy for your children and your grandchildren. And one way that you can do that is by leaving a legacy of generational wealth. I am Melissa Shaw, a second generation real estate broker in my family with over two decades of experience. And I really specialize in helping families, people come up with creative solutions to make their home dreams reality. And I will tell you from the, the lens of my experience with real hours on the ground, I will tell you that people who do own a home statistically have 40 times more wealth than those of a renter. So what can you do? You may be asking, you may be thinking, you want to help, but you're not quite sure what to do. Well, here's, here's some nuggets for you to think over. Um, you may have some equity in your home that you could help and help your grandchild, help your child cap out of some of that equity in your home to assist them with the down payment. This isn't about a hands hand out, it's about a hand up. I believe that together, collectively, um, we can all collaborate and come together to give our next generation a good chance of succeeding. And one way we can do that is by helping them with a down payment that we already have equity in our existing home if you have it. Another way that you can help them is multi-generational living. So there can be an ADU, you can live together. Another way that you could help them is there are some loan programs out there that allow non-owner occupied borrowers meaning a parent could co-sign and not live at the property, but help them. You know, and there can be skin in the game for the kiddos. Um, they pay half, you pay half, you've got that secondary investment of an appreciating asset. When they're ready to make the move and finance that home into themselves, you split the difference and you both go on your merry way. But it's, a, it's an avenue, it's a door that opens up for them that may otherwise be super daunting to save up a significant down payment if it's not if they're not able if they're just starting out in life and another way just from the credit perspective and i had somebody a dear friend help me out when i went through a really challenging time uh, almost a couple decades ago now and she put me on her credit card to help me rebuild my credit and that's something I'll be doing for my kids. I had a kiddo just turn 18 and I'll be putting him on one of my credit cards to help establish some credit um, for him. So if you found these tips helpful, please tune in and continue to tune in. Subscribe, comment below on any ideas that you have that might be helpful, um, but please, Feel free if you're at that point where you're looking to make a move, but you're not quite sure how to do it, book a call with me by clicking the link below and we'll figure out a way to make your move happen.